All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I printed this last night. It's a, a, sp a sprinkler box. Um, so I just wanted to give a brief um, video on what I'm using to control the sprinklers at my house. Uh, this can be used to control any, anything with relays. So it's not only a sprinkler system, but if you want to control your lights um, or anything else, yeah, you can. So. Just want to show you what I'm using, uh, so you guys may get some ideas. I'm, this is not going to go in depth to how I set it up and every everything like that, but if there's interest in that, I could probably make another video um, soon on that. So, just want to give you a brief overview. So, this is the box that I printed. Uh, as you can see, it's just 3D printed. It has a small uh, window for the the uh, PVC pipe that has the wires comes up and goes underneath here. Inside uh, the box is this 3D printed baseboard. Uh, it has built in standoffs. And then here are the controllers. So, what we have uh, is a Raspberry Pi Zero W, um, an SD card. Of course, preloaded this. I'm running Open Sprinkler on it. Uh, great, great software. Th those guys did an amazing job putting that together. Um, I've been using, I've been using this in my old sprinkler box. I just gutted it and put it put all this inside for the last um, year probably. And this works very, very well. Uh, that there's an app. You know, you could use the app. You could uh, change settings. You know, I, I wanted, I had just a standard, you know, and I just kept going, going out there and turning the knob and setting schedules. This makes life so much easier. So what we have, again, I already said the Pi Zero W, uh, the W's Wi-Fi. I do have a small heat sink on there. I've never had heating problems, but um, here is a AC, DC to DC um, butt converter. So this allows you to step down the voltage. Uh, the voltage on sprinkler systems are normally 24 volts. Uh, probably not always, I'm sure there's some 12 volts out there. And so my, my power cord was already 24 volts. So I don't show a wire here, I may show one later, but normally you'll, you'll come in and hook up right here. You hook up one side of the, the AC and then here's the other one. Uh, one goes over to the relays, and then the other side of it will actually come in and go to the, the sprinkler. This is an eight channel relay. I have them late numbered. Um, and then on this side, I just put all the, the center wires together. Um, and then on the open side, I'll, I'll attach my sprinkler wire. Again, been using this setup. Um, I do this is regulating to five volts, um, and so I send five volts to different places. As you can see here, one five volt goes to my relay switch, and then five volt powers my Raspberry Pi. Um, and then a three volt comes off the Raspberry Pi, goes also into my relay, and then there's a ground that goes to the butt converter and to the Raspberry Pi. And then these are the different output or the input pins for the relay output for the Raspberry Pi. So anyways, this is just a brief, just kind of showing you, give, maybe give you some ideas if you want to print your own. Um, like I said, I think it turned out pretty nice for, the, for version one. There's a few changes I may make, uh, but it does have, you know, screws. Those are, down there, those are uh, three millimeter, uh, three by six millimeters. Uh, and just maybe give you some ideas how you could print your own um, control boards or uh, um, mounting brackets, and then how to mount this thing up pretty quick and easy. So if you like, please like the video. Uh, please subscribe if, if you're in, interested in having a, uh, a full video on start to finish. Like I said, please comment and I'll uh, put some time aside to make one of those. All right. Thanks, everyone. See ya.